What's going on everyone? Alex Hart here for My Heart Sports and today we're kicking off the MLB season with our favorite segment on the channel, the Power Rankings. We're going to do this every week. Normally it's something that I do on a Sunday, but given that the season's starting today now uh, when this video comes out, um, we're going to skip this Sunday and then we're going to go from there. All this is just based on what I've looked at over the preview videos. So if you've checked out those preview videos, I'll kind of talk about each team more in depth on that. We're just going to rip through this. We've got 30 teams. It's based on how I think overall they're ranking in that entire MLB. For the most part, I think everybody agrees where we're going to start things off down here. Number 30, we've got the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's not really a whole lot to say about the Pirates. They're just going to be terrible. Projected to be the worst in the league already with Vegas odds and really not much more to say with them. Number 29, I got the Seattle Mariners. Seattle is kind of in that same situation. Not a whole lot going for them this season. They did bring in Paxton, so pitching a little bit of a boost, but I have pretty much zero expectations of them being number 29. Number 28, got the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, maybe this is a little unfair for them, but I think they have a really tough division and they really haven't done a whole lot to get better. So 28's for them right now and that's where they're going to sit unless they prove me wrong early on. They did that last year and they jumped up. So number 27, we got Texas Rangers. Another one of those teams that projected to be worst in their division. Uh, not a lot going for them either. Pitching. I think uh, their opening day starter is Kyle Gibson, so how good can you really be? No offense to him, but uh, with that uh, batting, they're, 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 they're rough. So it's going to be a long season for the Rangers. Tough division, and I got them down there. Number 26, we're, sti we're sticking with the American League at this point. we got the Detroit Tigers. It's, uh, the theme is pretty much all the same here. Poor teams, not a lot of expectations. Another last place finishing team here. Um, the one highlight maybe that they have going for them is Miggy uh, potentially getting his 500th home run this season. I think we're all going to see that. So, number 25, Colorado Rockies. Big drop for them. If you followed along with Power Rings last year, even from the very beginning, I had them near the top, and I always had a lot more faith. Maybe it was a little bit of bias considering they're one of my favorite teams. But now with Arenado and kind of with the management falling apart, a lot of the players leaving. Um, Trevor Story on his last leg with the team. Blackman, who knows if he's going to go back to form. Got him in 25th. A lot of people projected him to be very poor this year. I, however, do think they still have potential. They're in Coors. A lot of things can happen in that field. So watch out for that. 26. Four. That's a that's a weird written four. I got the Diamondbacks, and this is why I say watch out for them. I've got them pretty much as the same. Diamondbacks have a slight edge in my opinion. They do have some pitchers. Uh, with Gallon right now, he's out. Um, but once he's back, out of all the t both those teams, I think he's the best pitcher. Um, but Diamondbacks, I think, very similar. Next up, 23, Kansas City Royals. I like what the Royals did this year, um, but their pitching is what has me questioning them to be any higher, at least at this point. They were one of those teams that I could quickly see moving up a little bit. They are in a tough division, and at least I got them a little bit ahead of Detroit. Probably could, could see them moving up into this range, um, should they prove themselves the way they could. Number 22, got San Francisco Giants, team that almost made the extended playoffs last year um a lot of their core is coming to an end this season i talked about that in the preview but i just come 22 a little bit down tough division not expected to make the playoffs yada yada 21 got the marlins which i think is the worst team in the al or nl east i have them as the worst but they're still they're still a solid team 21 being the worst in division that just means you have a really tough division right so they're still young. They're still getting their team together. They're going to compete on every night. But rankings-wise and being able to make the playoffs, what, top 10 make playoffs technically, uh, they're going to miss. Number 20, I got the Boston Red Sox. 
if we look at Boston last year, they had an awful start this season, but they, they start turning around. And I am personally think this offense is very solid. Um, Chris Sale's not in the lineup yet or anything like that, but once he comes back, and if he's back to form and Craig Krimble starts to turn it up, I think this is really the lowest Boston could be. Um, I'm going to eat my words on that one, but that's where I see them right now, number 20, with really only can improve uh, from that. Number 19, got the Reds. A lot of people say they underperformed last year. They did make the extended playoffs. They lost Bauer, so I still have them on the outside looking in. It's a weak division, though, so they would, like, pretty much the whole division is going to be in the middle of the power rankings, so even though they're bottom 19 here, being in likely the weakest division, uh, they still are going to have a shot at least competing for playoffs. And with that being said, number 18, I got the Brewers right up in front of them. Same kind of story. Um, Brewers, it's really going to rely on Yelich. If Yelich can turn it on this season back to his form, we can see the Brewers easily starting to compete a little higher. Number 17, I got the Phillies. I like the Phillies offense, of course. Uh, that's always what they've been about. They struggled bullpens. They struggled pitching in the past. But they got Wheeler. They got other things that can work. Bryce Harper, can he take it to another level? We'll, we won't really know until the season starts. But thank God it's here. The season's here. So number 17, I got the Phillies. Uh, 16, Angels. Uh, this is one of those teams that... Every year, I expect them to do better and better and better and better. I always have them high, and they always end up down here. I'm hoping, and I'm being a little conservative, putting them right dab in the middle of this season. 16, again, I, I, I personally hope to see them go up. I, I like to see Trout. I like to see them all be successful. It's been a long time, and Trout really deserves a playoff run. So right now in the middle, prove me right, but also prove me wrong. They could go either way. Number 15, we got the Washington Nationals. Uh, they're coming back at least a little healthy compared to last year. They're going to have their team back. Hopefully, Strasburg can last the whole season here. Um, two years out now from the World Series, but last year, don't really count it. So, in theory, they're still trying to defend that World Series. It's a long way to go, middle of the pack, really tough division. I would probably say the hardest in the NL. Well... Actually, I shouldn't even say that. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But Juan Soto is expected to be MVP caliber. I want to see it. Um, Trey Turner, solid lineup. They're pretty good. So right in the middle, same kind of thing. I would all, almost compare them together. Um, but Scherzer and Strasburg and all that kind of give them the edge. Next up, I got 14 Chicago Cubs. I'm just not ready to count the Cubs lower. I know a lot of people aren't expecting them take a step forward they're actually all, a lot of people are expecting them to take a fall back uh, I don't see why uh, their lineup to me is still very good they still got decent pitching although they lost you Darvish losing Lester doesn't really seem to be a big deal to me so Hendricks is going to continue to carry the load he's been very reliable so for me I don't know I still think they're they're in the thick of it and especially in the division they're in talked on about it already shot at the playoffs for sure and watch out that core coming to an end, and they have something to prove. Uh, 14th for now. Number 13, my Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, it's really where they kind of finished last season, and but they went out and they improved. Um, but so did teams ahead of them, but they improved. They got George Springer, not expected to start tomorrow, sadly. But pitching-wise, they got Ryu at the top. He's If he can pitch like he did last year, that's going to be very successful. Uh, and their they're bullpen and all that, decent. So I have them in the hunt for playoffs. Uh, this young core does question me a little bit. So 13 is all they are for now. But lucky number 13, they say, right? I think, honestly, that's where I had them at the beginning of last season, too. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Number 12, Cleveland Indians. Indians were a lot higher for the majority of last season. Uh, they lost Lindor. Santana's gone. Um... Clevenger is no longer there, but that's a whole last season. It's all going to come down to pitching, and I don't know if they're hitting. Well, honestly, it can't be much worse than it was last season. So, number 12, uh, two people in their division ahead of them. It's very tough competitive division. So, for now, I have them fighting for playoffs. Again, we focus on the top 10 kind of area. 
fighting for playoffs, but based on my projections on the outside looking in. Number 11, I got the Cardinals. So this is one of those division leaders at 11 though. So they're gonna likely have the worst record of all the division leaders. Again, weakest division. Um, so they're gonna be very similar to these kind of teams, but I am predicting them to win the division. Pick the Baronado. And yeah, I just love them. Number 10, Tampa Bay. Um, World Series last year, dropping to 10. Normally I don't do that, but with them losing Snell, that's a big, big part of what got them there. You know, always consistent win, but you can't count the Rays out. They always seem to find a way to develop that next guy, next man up kind of mentality has really been a big thing for them. Randy Ar Arizona or whatever is going to be there. Uh, they have potentially some of the best prospects coming up. So yeah, I'm excited to see them. They're gonna, it's gonna be an interesting one. They're, they're always the ones develop, their pitchers are always on top of it. I have them at least wild card really at this rate. Number nine, Oakland A's. Another one of those teams, it's it's their, la it's their do or die time for the A's. Their core it's last a little bit for them. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's a high point for the A's, could fall down. Um, don't have a lot to say about the A's. That's really all I got, <laughs> right? The Houston Astros. So these guys are neck and neck for the division lead in the West. Uh, the Astros lost Springer. Big shoes to fill, but at the same time, they are still the, the team to chase after. Can some of their guys heat up from last year? Correa, Altuve, etc. They can have better seasons than last year. They'll definitely uh, find their way at the top there. Number seven, I got the Twins, which I think is a very respectable position for the Twins. It's second in their division. Um, they have strong bats. It's a question if their pitching can really have the season like last year. And uh, for the Twins, they really have to get over that playoff hump. That they just can't win a playoff game. So I know that doesn't really impact this part of the, the season, but I'm just putting them there for now. Number six, competing with the Twins for that top spot in the Central, Chicago White Sox, giving them the edge just because I think their their bats are better. Their pitching is probably a wash, but overall, I like their offense a little bit slightly more than the Twins, but quickly that can change. Um, these power rankings just the beginning of the season, so this can all jumble very quickly. Number five, got the New York Mets. I just think possibly met one of the best pitching rotations in baseball. Big addition with Lindor this offseason. Uh, had they had a longer season last year, I think they would have made the playoffs. Uh, just a really rough start to the season. So given that I'm short, they have a longer season this season. Syndergaard's not in the lineup, but once he comes back, I don't know if there's a rotation out there that can beat it. And we all know some of these other rotations, right? So, number four, got the San Diego Padres. Padres, I think that's where they ended last year. And unfortunately, they're in a division that's with the Dodgers. Otherwise, they'd probably be up here. Um, they made some crazy additions this offseason with Snow. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, this I think the battle between the Dodgers and the Padres is gonna be one of the most exciting things in baseball this season. I'm excited to watch some of that. Number three, I got the Atlanta Braves. A lot of people would say the Padres should be a high higher than them, et cetera, et cetera. My argument with that is the Atlanta Braves were one win away from going to the World Series against the Dodgers. They went in the game seven and lost. Had they made the World Series, I think without a doubt they would have beat the Rays as well. So uh, until they prove to me that they're not as good as that, uh, I'm going to keep them there for sure. Number two, I don't know. I feel weird kind of doing this, but they're stacked. And they're clear cut favorite in the American League. Um, so at this rate, you kind of have to match them up against number one as... The two people to compete. You can't have them win the World Series, dominate last season, and not have them number one. 
and the Seth American League favorite at number two. Uh, I think we all know baseball doesn't always end the way it started with the big spectated teams. Someone always comes along. Uh, I think at the beginning of last season, it looked the same, and then the Rays came along. Um, but yeah, this is what my outlook is. The very beginning, this small portion of time, beginning of 2021 here. But this is going to jumble. With By the time we do the next power rankings, some of these teams will move up. Some of them will like start one and six and drop like a sack of potatoes. So hopefully you guys are along for the ride this season. I've been trying to pump out some baseball content all season long here. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, please give me a like, give me a subscription. We're going to be doing this all season long. And we hope to see you there for the next video.